the end. Hey everybody, Zeo Lightning returns with Let's Play Spider-Man and Venom Maximum Carnage for the Sega Genesis, brought to you by 16, uh, 4 16-bit summer, brought to you by GameNewOne.com. Venom, what happened? Carnage was ours, and you stole him from us. So, this is the part where we watch the credits. Thank you everybody for watching this LP. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was one of my favorite games from way back when on the Sega Genesis. And I really... Oh, wait. It's not over. Now we have to face Carnage. We've been facing him a lot. But now we actually really have to face him. Without the superhero icon that takes him all of his health away. So, when you're fighting Carnage, you want to be very offensive. And you really want to watch out for that because, well, it destroys you. That's his most powerful attack, and he'll do that move constantly. Get as close to him as you can so you can uh, stop him from attacking you. And to switch between Spider-Man and Venom, you press the, uh, the you press A, B, and C like you would for the superhero icons. It's the only part of the game where you play as Spider-Man and Venom at the same time. I kind of wish it was m m more of the game that you can do that. But still, it's it's a pretty epic final boss. Trying to get a combo on Carnage is really hard. Because he moves around so goddamn much. And all his, and his attacks are very powerful, so you don't want to get hit by them. If you get a power hit, you can do some serious damage to him. It's the only way to do damage to him anymore. Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> Carnage is by no means easy. So you have to keep playing your cards. And I think every time you die, you should switch characters. At least that gives me more luck. Alright. So, we've beaten Carnage, but we haven't beaten him. Now we're going to go to his old uh, uh, Ruin Boy's home, which is the last level of the game. We're going to go to his old orphanage, and we're going to fight him one more time. He has about two more health bars this time. But he's not he's not much of a different fight. He's just a little bit more offensive with that with that with that move. But what you want to do is um try and lure him over here with Spider-Man and get hit in a certain way. It's really hard, but you have to get hit in a certain way while facing the door. And you'll be able to uh get into a secret room. It's very, it's extremely difficult, and I really don't advise doing it, but there are s extra lives in this secret room. It's also the last secret room in the game, so... Take it at your own, uh, risk. Personally, I say don't go for it. It's not worth it. Get out of here. Okay, get another life from him. And, and no more lives? Okay. Well, now we go, go back to really fight Carnage here. And maybe we'll have some luck. Who knows? Whoa. He's very fast, too. Carnage is extremely fast. When he does this attack, dash attack, like, at the end of it, and you can catch him off guard a lot. And when he does that move, you really want to, um, watch out, because he can do that sometimes, right after that move. Just dodging him. And dash attack, and I missed. Yeah. 
Switch time. Go! Damn it. Come on. You and that axe attack, I swear. So damn cheap. Damn it! Just as I was about to get it. Oh wait, I still have it. Yes! Power hit. Whoa, be careful. Venom. And he takes out Venom. So I have Spider-Man and one life. Normally I wouldn't be I wouldn't be worried, but there we go. Whew! <laughs> Kinda close there. <laughs> the Avengers finally arrive in the Quinjet to take Carnage away. Be careful with this Joker. We have been warned of Cassidy's ability to regenerate his costume. We came equipped with a stasis container. You know, Spidey, even though he's in the Avengers custody, I don't think I'll truly feel safe from Carnage. Monsters like that have a way of returning. You need to have faith, pretty lady. Some monsters stay locked up forever. And their ghosts can't haunt you unless you let them. I hope. The end of Maximum Carnage. Or is it? And that, everybody, is Maximum Carnage for the Sega Genesis. This is one of my favorite beat-em-ups of all time. I would play this game endlessly. I'd never beat it until, like, later in my life, but I would always play this game, even if it was, even though it was hard, and I just, I just love the heck out of this game. The cutscenes feel like an actual Spider-Man comic. The music is phenomenal, especially for Sega Genesis quality, and I feel the Sega Genesis port is, version, is better than the SNES, and it's just an all-around great game. So, everybody, thanks for watching this LP. Stick around for another, and I'll catch you guys later.